Testing, testing. Testing, testing, yeah, it's working. <clears throat> All right, I have a question. Yeah, let me sit down first. <laughs> I'm over here fixing my mic. All right, I'm a little sick, so y'all hear me cough and stuff. I'm not myself. I'm not me like Lil Wayne. All right, what's your question? Anyways, I have a question. It's not a question? I have a question. Okay, what is it? So, you know how I told you about the idea about traveling to tattoo? Yeah. Do you think that would be cool? I think it would be cool, but like if you had an RV and you did all that. Like a, like a Sprinter van. I think it'd be cool. I think that would be cool. And I think that like traveling to do events is also cool. Like, well, what do you want to travel? Like travel like, to somebody's house or to a city or like, know. how would you want to, how would you want to do that? Maybe like, um, so have a, have a Sprinter van. You know, the, the back would be all gutted out. It would be all customized with like tattoo, uh, a tattoo, uh, bed chair, a light, everything, everything, yeah. my, everything the studio has, but just, you know, a little minimal. So a everything, that you, everything that you have in a studio, you'd put it in, in a Sprinter van or a traveling. Yeah. Something no, but I would, but I would still have the studio <laughs> so we can tattoo here. And then I would have the van for mobile tattooing mobile tattooing but it would be cool to like travel to different well I don't know tra like drive to different spots of San Antonio like somewhere cool where like like you have a cool view yeah, while you're like, tattooing like at a park or something or like, I mean I guess like a like the way food trucks do it like if you're gonna be in one location and then hey we're gonna be over here I think that'd be cool like but only just small pieces like normally I only tattoo big pieces here. yeah but so what, what are you thinking? Like, have them already pre-designed already? Um, like, a, like a flash maybe, sheet kind of? Maybe like flash sheets. And then like, hey. What do y'all think? Flash sheets? Like, I'm going to be, I can post like, hey, I'm going to be. In this area. Yeah. From area. what time? Yeah. Now, yeah. now, the only thing is, though, because, I mean, we tattoo usually 10 to 5, right? So you do traveling. Are you trying to do it like. You know, outside of those hours or in between those hours, how would you do it? No, would you do weekends because we don't we don't have to weekends. So. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know. Maybe like maybe weekends wouldn't be a bad idea. Like not every weekend. Yeah, but, like, but if you did it traveling, like on once weekends. once a month, or like an event, special event type thing, like once a month or, or something like that. That'd be cool. And it can be like San Antonio or like New Braunfels, Bernie. Bernie like surrounding yeah. areas that way that way some people that <clears throat> i guess would want to get a tattoo don't have to drive over here i mean i know people fly to see you and you know whatever but mm -hmm. you know that'd be cool or like during the summertime when the kids are off school if we wanted to take a trip somewhere like i can take a vacation with the family yeah, yeah like me and you and then our wife and kids and then be like hey i'm gonna i'll take my tattoo van with me and then we can like rent a sprinter and, and then still travel. So travel and then, hey, just from this day, we're going to be here at this time. Like, yeah, like if we're going on vacation. But still have the vacation. Like say we're in Colorado in the summer and we take our vacation, but then I also have the van with me. So you can tattoo people there. That'd yeah. be cool. Like, I think that, that's a, that'd I think be cool. a good idea. In the summer, we can all hang out and go together and still work at the same time. Yeah. Nah, I mean, it, it'd be a cool idea because I don't, I don't know if you've ever seen anybody that's done that. Or, that would be cool. I just don't know. There's also different laws for different states. Oh, that's country, true. So I would have to look. You have to find those out to see, like. But like, yeah. how cool would it be to like? You park near the mountains in Colorado, and then you <laughs> tattoo, and then like the van has a big old window, so you can see. It'll probably be tinted, so you can't see in. Yeah, but, but you, you can, can see, out. see out. But that'd be cool. Like that's a really cool idea. That'd be that'd be really cool. How soon do you see yourself doing that? Well, let me ask you, do you have good credit or do you, is your credit good enough so I can go take out a loan for a Sprinter van, a customized, it's going to cost about a hundred thousand dollars. No, probably more, honestly. That's right? something that would be me and you and I just, you know, but I need you to put the credit, I need you to put it under your name in case it doesn't go good. Like I have, I have nothing to worry about, you know what I mean? No. It's on your credit. I'm not getting approved for that. I tell you what, <laughs> getting approved for it. You can try it. I'm not. <laughs> You're like, sir, you can't even get a regular. <laughs> sir, these are the pre-owns under fifteen thousand. You can't even get those. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. My credit's pretty good, so don't drink on that. But yeah, I mean that'd be cool. I'm no, just kidding. I, mean, I think it's a. I was just kidding about the credit part. Well, I mean, I just told them, so <laughs> it's all right. You can check my credit. Um, I think it would be a good idea. I think it'd be interesting. I think it'd be cool. I think people would do it. Um, I'm sure there's like hiccups and stuff that you'd run into. Yeah, I mean. Hit a speed bump while the ink falls. Well, the, the speed bump, you can... No, but it would have, like, storage where it's, like... Yeah, like, it's, it's all, like, like stored. Stored, yeah, for sure. Like, with, like... Not locks, but, like... But... To where it's tight, you can't... It can't. I, the only... Down, I mean, it's not really a downside, because you'd be... I'm sure you'd be doing well. Tattooing while you're driving? <laughs> Boom, going over a Boston <laughs> In the desert? <laughs> I'm tattooing in the back. <laughs> I mean, I just... I just think like maintenance, you know, if you got maintenance done on a, on the vehicle or something, I guess that's the only thing. Or like if you have a flat, changes? yeah, or you got a flat or something, I don't know. Or, I don't know, I just, I'll, I'll change the tire, I guess, in the middle of nowhere. I'd be the one having to do it, but, um, yeah, that'd be cool. You know how to change a tire? You know, man, YouTube is pretty powerful. <laughs> I, can, I can learn. I'll, I'll change the oil, too. All you got to do is lift up the back. Well, I mean, I, I, know, I, I know how to do uh, a Change the tire. I'll lift up the van. Hurry, hurry. I mean, that'd be, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. That would be cool, though. Like, yeah. That'd be a really cool idea. It would be like, it would be cool, like, not just for the tattoo you get, but like for the experience. Yeah. And you can vlog it. So that'd be cool. That'd be cool, yeah. That'd be cool videos for like everybody else to see it. I think that would. Do you have any job experiences working on vans? Job experiences work. Well, you used to work for Honda, right? Yeah, I used to. Well, I used to work in the car business, but I didn't. I didn't fix cars. I was selling cars. That's true. I so, sell cars, and then I was a service advisor. So didn't you also work at Chuck E. Cheese? That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was your first job. That was my first job when I was sixteen. Didn't you get fired? <laughs> <laughs> did you get fired? I, I didn't. <laughs> I did not get fired, but. I'll tell you something that happened. Wait, I want to hear the story. So I didn't get fired from there, but I'm going to tell this story if you don't mind. Okay, go ahead. All right. So <clears throat> come back to it a little bit. When I was 16, it was my first job. Mm -hmm. And um, I, don't, I don't think I've ever given it two weeks. Any job, right? But that job. Like, so you just quit. Yeah, so you don't see me tomorrow. I'm not going to give you notice. But so let me ask you, if you were to leave my shop, you would. I wouldn't get a. You just. Well, you know, you ain't giving me, you ain't giving me a two week notice when you fired me. So, <laughs> so no, you don't have to give him one. Anyways, hey Matt, I just want to let you know in two weeks, um, you're out of here, buddy. This one, nice arguing with you. Man. But I need to chop the camera. Uh, <laughs> let me take off my mic. Um, so hold on, it was it was my. Uh, I was gonna say 16th birthday. It was. I was 16. So it was my last day on the job. Uh -huh. Now, I'm just going to throw this out there. I was a party host. I don't know why. I just like throwing that out. Well, you were a party host the whole time you worked there? Yeah. I never worked like the game room or nothing. But 16, I'm 30. So you automatically got hired. I'm 31 years old. So remember, I'm, this was a long, long, long time ago. Okay. But I was a party host, dance with Chucky, all that good stuff. Right. Weren't you Chucky? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> but um, so let me get to the story. I was 16. I worked at Chuck E. Cheese. And it was my last day. It was my last day there, and I, was, I had already given my two weeks because I thought, hey, you got to give your two weeks. You got to be a good boy, right? Looks good in your resume, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So I give him my two weeks. My last day coming in, it's a Sunday. It's busy. You ever been to San Antonio, military drive? <laughs> that Chuck E. Cheese on a Sunday? It's, it's popping. Yeah, it's popping. But um, I went in there, and right when I was going to walk in the door, back in the days when you used to have, like, um, you know, the, I don't even know what was it, uh, iPod? Was it iPod? iPod? Like yeah. iPod Shuffle? Or yeah, like Nano? iPod Shuffle, iPod Nano. Had an iPod Nano at the time. Oh, you had one with the screen? Yeah. Well, you had money. Okay. Yeah, so my grandpa bought it. But um, so I had a fitted hat on, right? And I took it off, put my iPod in there, put my keys, lanyard, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was walking in the door. The door swung open. And some guy walked out. He kind of bumped me. Like, so right when you open the door to get into Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm coming in. I didn't even get to open it. The guy had a, someone Pushed the door open. Okay. And the guy kind of sped walk out of there and bumped into me. I mean, I didn't expect nothing. I just thought he was like a, a rude customer. And like, was it Dan's guy? Like, whatever. Yeah, a rude person. Like a rude boy? 
Yeah, like Rihanna. But um, <laughs> I got that one. Uh, so anyways, he bumps me. Mm-hmm. And I have all the stuff in my hand. And I'm right, like, I'm not even in the door yet. But I, it's it's open, obviously. And so I'm about to walk in. And I see everybody, like, standing up. And I think, hold on. <laughs> yeah. That's nice fact. So, uh, no, the C4 heavy, you know, burp a little bit. Mm-hmm. Trying to block that out. <clears throat> but, um. So I walked in, right? And or I'm about to walk in and everybody's yelling, Hey, get him, that's the guy, that's the guy. Now mind you, even the manager mm-hmm. was literally right there and he was telling me, Go get him, that's the guy. <laughs> oh, now at that point, I don't know who the what the guy did. I had no idea that he just robbed the place. Because he did, that's what he did. He robbed it. <laughs> Um, Chuck but, Chief. So I had no idea. I just heard, go get the guy. That's him. Get him, get him, get him. So I don't know what went through my mind at 16 years old. I dropped everything I had. I went around the or I went to follow him, kind of like speed walking, you know, because he walked, he was looking back, whatever. So we go around the building. And at this point, two of the other co workers came out that were also like 16, 17. Yeah. Dudes. One of them went to school with us, but I won't mention his name. But um, <laughs> um, so we're going around the building. And I tell them before we hit the corner, I said, hey, when I get close to this guy, I'm going to jump on him. Like, I'm going to tackle him. And y'all just help me out. Mind you, 16 years old, I've never been in a fight. So I was probably going to do anything. But I'm getting close to this guy, right? Now, okay. they, they start separating. They're going far far right, far left. Like, we're going to flank. Y'all have yeah, a, right? a triangle. Yeah, in a triangle. we got a perfect setup. So he's speed walking, speed walking. And he's just looking back. And then when I get to about within five feet of him, Getting a little nervous here. My heart's going racing. So I get to about five feet. He turns around and pulls a revolver out on me. And he tells me, I remember vividly, he said, well, hold on. When he did that, both my friends ran. Right? So it's just me and I just, I didn't know what to do. I froze. I just stared at him. I'm shaking right now. It's probably the C4. Oh, I don't know why you chased him. But he pulled the revolver out and he told me, is it worth your life? He told me, is it worth your life? And I stood there. I, he could have shot me. I didn't. I didn't say anything. And then I just froze. And then he took off running. They ended up catching him. So he took off with the coins. I was on the news. They had me in the back of the cop car. I had to identify him. All this stuff. So when he said, "Is it worth your life?" Yeah, you should have said yes and just <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, why that was my experience at Trick or Cheese, dude? If if he would have hurt you. Well, he wouldn't have hurt me. He would have shot me and killed me because it was close. Like, it was, you know, point blank range. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, and your manager told you to chase him. Yeah. You know, you're not actually... You're, you're not allowed to. You're not supposed yeah. to. Yeah, I didn't Your manager was not allowed to. I, w- I was 16 years old, so what you I was... supposed thinking, to call security, and then security calls the cops. Well, being 16, my adrenaline was through the roof, and oh, I... Thought, you probably just had... You should... Did you have a C4 before? I wasn't drinking anything. Oh. Like that. But if I was, I would have caught him. <laughs> yeah. But you, you know, put him in a choke hold. You know, I guess what I was thinking is that I'm 16 years old. It's my last day on the job. It was, the worst part is I had to go back to work. I went down to the top of the oh, station, and then they brought me back to work. I had to finish, <laughs> finish your shift. Oh. <laughs> I had to finish my shift. But I guess what it was. I'm traumatized. <laughs> hosting a party. <laughs> Oh, I had to dance with Chucky and I was still shaking, looking everywhere. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I can mention hosting, don't even know you almost got killed. There was not seen the news, I guess, because, you know, I was there. Oh my I was thinking someone, who else is going to rob this place? But, <laughs> um, I don't know, I guess I thought that. Um, I'm dumb to think that, but that they were going to put a plaque on the wall and I was a good <laughs> Don't know why I thought that. But. Local hero. <laughs> and they're getting sweaty and hot just talking about that. But yeah, that was my experience, man. So what did he steal? Pizzas? Um, so he was dressed in, in Chuck E. Cheese attire. Like he had, it was I think it was blue pants and a red shirt and a, and a hat, which that's what they would Wait, wear. Wait, isn't that Peter Piper's? No. A red shirt? I'm pretty sure it was straight. Listen, but he had the same outfit as a truck. I thought it was khaki pants and a blue shirt. Hold on, look. And he also had a, a full set of keys. Those keys unlocked all the... All he stole was the... Um, where you put coin, the cash in for the coins. He oh, was oh, opening all those. Whenever it's totally right? Yeah, yeah. Well, he was opening them and taking the cash. That's all he did. So he didn't really take... Oh, money. he took the cash. Yeah, he was... He got like a couple hundred bucks. But... 
I was like, you know, the crazy thing is I got a letter in the mail. I think I told you about this, maybe like three months ago. And it was from that case. Just like, if I need whatever, order. I don't know what it was, but I just got it in my house. I was like, three months ago. I looked at the book. <laughs> like, you know. Why right you on YouTube? I, I look nothing like when I was 16 years old. Um, actually, look this wait, I just told him exactly what I did. Let's put a picture on screen when you were 16 right here. <laughs> uh, that was it. Put you in your Ooh. chunky suit. I want to put a picture on chunky jeans. No, but that's a true story. And I think that that's a... That's an interesting story. That's I'm sure a, people That's get, actually a crazy story. I think people get pulled guns out all the time, right? Just depending on your situation. Sure. I get a gun pulled out of them. But mine was different. Because <laughs> I don't think at that point I ever seen a gun, so. <laughs> I remember the um, the cop told me, he said, if he would have shot you, it don't matter if it was in your head anywhere, the bullets were rusty and the revolver. He goes, you could have got like... How did they know the bullets were rusty? They got the revolver. They got his gun. And it's, I mean, the evidence. Wait, how did they get the, they caught him? Yeah, they caught him. Yeah, he, he, that boy didn't run far. They caught him right out the, right the road. I remember how they caught him. Yeah, I remember the cop car, pulled, they put me in the cop car, and they're like, they had him maybe a hundred yards. Like, <laughs> You're about shaking when you is that him. Is that him? And I'm like, <laughs> yes, it was probably, yes, you were so nervous, it was probably the wrong guy. <laughs> 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 the wrong guy in jail, dude. <laughs> My bad if you're watching this. <laughs> you were so scared you didn't want to look. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh. That's it, man. You should get a Chuck E. Cheese tattoo. I thought about it. I thought about getting that quote, is it worth your life? But I don't know. You know what? I don't know about the quote. I would get, personally, I would get a, a, a portrait of Chuck E. Cheese holding a revolver. And, and no writing, that's it. Just Chuck E. holding the revolver. And nobody would know what it means except me. Yeah. And people be able to see that and be like, what the? If if this video gets... <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll let you put it on me wherever you want and we'll record it. I don't know what room Wait, I can have we left. put him wearing a wearing a lanyard listening to the iP iPod? Oh, dude, holding an iPod <laughs> Nano with the gun like this? With the manager in the background? <laughs> Honestly, if this video gets... I'll do it. I'll let you tattoo that on me. Do the Chucky, Chucky Cheese. How many likes? Oh, wait, Chucky Cheese holding the revolver, coins like exploding behind him, you know, signifying the money. That he stole. Okay. And then, yeah, wearing a lanyard. Uh, honestly, yeah, listening to headphones. <laughs> I'm down. And then, I don't know, a kid in the back with the party hat on. We can talk about the details later. And we can get me running behind him. Dude. <laughs> you know the scene from The Dark Knight when the, when the Joker's in the cop car? <laughs> we'll throw that on the bottom like blend it into it but it'll be you like that pointing to, pointing to the guy that was scared <laughs> oh my goodness oh so you think it's funny but well leg sleeve I'm down actually I don't have anything in this leg dude the whole side of the cat <laughs> alright if this video gets how many likes I don't know. You tell them. How many likes are you just six? <laughs> if they get six likes and seven comments, I'm doing it. And all seven comments can be by the same person. <laughs> no, no very entries. No, not the same. <laughs> seven. That's not even it. Do my comments count? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so if, if this video gets. Oh, you're making me sweaty. I'm I want to see my jacket off, but it's a little too hot. But you say you don't want to look fat? Yeah. That's <laughs> you said before the video. I look a little slammier with the jacket on. You said, I don't want to look big. Let me put my jacket on. I told you don't put that on. I'll cut it out. Ooh, <laughs> can't repeat that part six times. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, that's my story, man. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty crazy story, though. It's a real story. Yeah, I just made it up. You know, I have another interesting story. We don't have time now, but it's about eight. You got a lot of time. How long have we been recording for? Let me see. 
I don't even know what time we started. I don't know what time we started either. What's about the, aliens? But oh, no. actually, no, no, we don't have time. <laughs> if y'all want to hear that story, let us know in the comments because I have an interesting Trust story. Me, that's it. Okay, that's a that's phony. That's phony. That's I have phony. an alien tattooed on my leg. It's real. Just like your Chuck E. Cheese story. I don't have that tattooed on me, but anyway, just still in a Chuck E. Cheese story. No, let me tell y'all right now. If y'all want to hear a true alien UFO story, let me know in the comments and we'll see it next podcast. Oh, wait. Is this the alien story about where you said that the alien went your bed? <laughs> you blamed it on the alien? Yeah. You, when you were a little kid, when you were like 13, you said you your bed was wet when you woke up and you blamed it on the alien. I'm not going to have you That's what your mom said. I'm not going to have you embarrassed me. <laughs> so no matter what you say, I'm not going to agree with it. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not, you. I'm not gonna have you embarrass me like that. No. <laughs> or you said the alien. You said it was the alien that shit your bed. <laughs> Dude, I'm done. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do the podcast. I'm out. <laughs>